prepare yourself. The opinions of the host and guest on the show are exclusively just that, opinions. That means that they shouldn't be the cause of your state of being offended. Why does everybody get so butthurt? Okay, let's go. Ready, go! Sit down, shut up, and pay attention. This is the Rants of Izzo Show. With your host, Dominic Izzo. From porn to politics. We touch every third rail we can find. You might want to put your headphones on so your mom can't hear this. It's been called the most entertaining 60 minutes on the internet. And it starts now. Now. Let's do this. Ransom is our show here on Spreely.com. Tuesday, no live show today. I'm not on location, so you're not going to get a video of this if you're watching on the podcast or listening on the podcast. You're like, man, I want to watch some video. There just isn't one today. So you don't get to see my uh, gorgeous face. Listen, I wanted to take a few minutes out of this uh, today. Just kind of... <sighs> you're not your political candidate. I, I, I'm on Twitter again, and my last Twitter account, uh, Officer Izzo, got... Um, Got whatever it is blocked, deleted, all that shit for. Uh, well, I guess I guess Elon said you're just bullying and harassment. Okay, that's where we're at in America, and everybody needs to be bullied, myself included. Sometimes bully the shit out of me. I don't care if I learn from it. I learn from it. And that's the point of all of this. But I'm on uh, Twitter X, whatever you want to call it, and I see this um, uh, Hillary. Hillary says that the October surprise is going to be damning, and. I just want all these fucking people to go away. I really do. Everybody, your side, my side, all, it doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Do you realize, and some of you have to, because I do, I do, right? Every now and then I have to take a, pulse, pulse, take a step back. And even, even if it's as little like the comment sections on the content I do, for those who don't know, I do a lot of other stuff outside of the show. I have a uh, police dedicated only content. You could find, uh, you can find on Spreely. Uh, you can find it on YouTube as well. You know, Officer Dominic Izzo. I do a lot of uh, martial arts content. Uh, you could find that on. I got some stuff on Spreely, but Izzo I Z Z O. My last name clearly Wing Chun W I N G. Uh, I do a lot of network marketing. I'm a professional. The guy who does the pyramid scams and actually teach people what it is the right way, right? Because I know some of you have your wives doing the business and they're like, I just don't know why I can't recruit anybody and they quit because the business is taught scamfully. The business itself is not scamfully. It's a long fucking story. And if you go to the bowl of MLM and listen to the podcast or watch the content, you'll see what I mean. And you'll actually be educated because they do a lot of content for free. But here's the fucking deal. That stuff is me, right? If, um... Donald Trump didn't exist, or Kamala Harris didn't exist, I would still be teaching Wing Chun. I would still be a wrestling coach. I would still be the bull of MLM and do network marketing professionally. I would still comment very critically on the nature of law enforcement and where we are today and how such of a fucking mess it is and how America is just unbelievably falling to the wayside because of how just, we just don't seem to understand what our police are for. But they're not for punishment. They're there for upholding and keeping the peace and maintaining uh, 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 order in a free society. We, the people, are the ones who admit it to serve as punishment. If your um, Haitian uh, migrants weren't eating cats, would you still have an identity? I guess that's my point, right? November is going to come, and we are going to vote. I've given my views. I am banking on the fact that they're going to put Harris in there. That's fine. But after she's sworn in... In January of that year, how is my life going to change? Am I going to be so hell-bent on the ongoings of what's happening in Washington, D.C., that I let it terrorize me in Hoffman Estates, Illinois, where I sit and smoke my cigars outside, and I'm like, yeah, fucking Harris, or even Trump, even Trump. Because when it comes out of the grand scheme of everything, there's not a damn thing I can control. I can't control the price of eggs. Can't. Well, can you can vote. Okay, we know how that works. I can't control what's coming across the border. Well, you can vote. Yeah, 
you know, and a bunch of uh, Americans could actually arm themselves, go down to the border and actually do the fucking job that they're supposed to. But again, I don't like to uh, encourage violence, even though I know that at this point, sadly, violence is the only thing that we have left that is any type of um, uh, acknowledgement for the federal government to look and go, oh, this is we the people. They're fucking serious, dude. Yeah, we are. But nobody ever wants to act on that shit. I just don't know what it is. Hell, why do we even? Why does it matter on the uh, the federal government? Why can't we do it on a local and uh, 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 municipal level? Well, that would require you showing up to your monthly meetings at your village hall, which I've done once uh, as a citizen. I've done it a few times as uh, like security detail when I was a cop. You know, and they're going to impose a new garbage sticker tax this week, so you got to go to the village hall and make sure. Nobody gets all pissed off and blah, blah, blah. I got in trouble once. I actually got in trouble because there was such a peaceful meeting. I spent most of it in my car. <laughs> and the mayor was like, uh, where was Officer Israel the entire time? I was in my fucking car, dude. Squad texting. Because I was fucking, this is was, this was like 2004. I was like, fuck. The, so I wasn't really texting. I think I was actually on the phone talking. Anyways, listen. This is, this is the shittiest time in the history I've seen on this field. The 50 years I've had on this planet. My parents were polar opposites when it came to political ideology. My dad sat at one head of the table. My mother sat at another. My mother was a Democrat. My father still is to this day a Republican. And I don't remember arguments um, or what they were. I remember... Man, real, real, it's ironic. Jimmy Carter turns, turns 100, I guess, today. I remember when he was in office, and uh, I remember them kind of like arguing over something, but all I remember is his name. But it, they were married up until her death. From They were married from 1974 until 2023. So that clearly politics didn't uh, end their marriage, even though Obama kind of pushed her to being a conservative, and she did vote Republican after him. I've, I've never seen, I've never never in the history of my life lost friends over having views that didn't support them. I worked in the nightclub industry before I became a cop, and I was extremely uh, liberal. I was in my early 20s, and I didn't know anything. I just knew that, you know, yeah, Clinton was great. Well, actually, he was in, was, was in high school. Um, and you supported him, Clinton, because he was cool. Bill Clinton was cool. He's a saxophone player. We didn't know better. Because we were very uneducated. Very uneducated. So obviously education is the key. I never lost friends over having an opposing ideology. And we never talked about them. Social media comes about. If anybody knows me in my personal life, they know that I I don't talk politics in in my personal life. My father is the only person I talk politics to. You know, and more so I listen to him. You know, I, I have to have him on the show more. Um, because that man schools me a hundred times over when it comes out. Two things I'll never argue with him on at all is politics and sports. Just never fucking happen. Get my ass kicked all the time. But I, I get people like when we go to family events and there's people like, oh my God, I follow you on social media. Hey, what do you think about so-and-so? I said, Dude, I don't, I don't talk about it. I was going to a uh, church. I, 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 when I left the, the Catholic church, I started going to a Christian church, found a church I really liked. And then all of a sudden people started to recognize me. And I'm like, and like, hey, yeah, what do you think about Biden? And I'm like, I am not fucking here for this. I am here to to obviously worship in my faith in Christ. But why are you even remotely trying to hide talking about uh, Biden and Trump when possibly 90% of this church is liberal and they don't bother me, but... What if they have the shit I say online talking about the black community, LGBTQ community, fucking Harris and Biden? What if they don't like what I say online and it bothers them? Because, yeah, believe it or not, you know, I'm not that person when it goes to a setting that I willfully uh, choose to in- engage in. I'm not the guy who goes, well, fuck your feelings. You got to deal with it. No. I I chose to go on scene here, so I'm going to be respectful of their feelings. So I stopped going to that church. You know, I talked to the pastor <coughs> months ago. Excuse me, and I said, "Yeah, you know, I, I just I can't come to church because I don't I don't want to make people uncomfortable." 
He understood it. I had four friends or four. There's four friends, three of us. I've talked about this many times. I grew up with three guys. Uh, we all became friends at 14 years old and we were friends all the way up until um, three years ago. Last time I saw them was my mother's funeral. Time before that. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, was another was my other buddy's mother's funeral. Time before that, I don't remember. We don't talk. We do not talk. And one, it's simply because my persona online. I don't know what the uh, the conundrum, the answer, the solution to this is because clearly we're in a day and age now where um, so many people, so many people. They don't have the fucking balls to be who they are online. And I get that all the time. We need more men like you out there. Well, fucking be me. We need more people to stand up and call out female cops like you and Andy for selling. Well, fucking be like me. I can't. I can't, I can't afford to lose my job, man. I, okay. I, I, I respect that. I, I don't have children. I'm not married. I'm not financially responsible for anybody else other than myself. I get it. But at the same time, fuck you, pussy. I've got to balance that, right? So what's the ideology or, or the methodology, excuse me, is it that we sit there and go, uh, well, we have, to, <laughs> we have to put a disclaimer on all our social media and say, hey, this is me when the mic is on and the camera's rolling. Uh, I'm actually a really nice guy when it's not. Or is it, hey, listen, when it, it's, uh, this is how I think it's supposed to be. You can 100% be screaming at the top of your lungs that black lives matter, that white people fucking suck, that you support Palestine or Israel. I don't give a shit about either one of them. Fucking Ukraine. I don't give a shit about them. Uh, liberals. Trump daddy is Trump is daddy. I don't give a shit, dude. I don't give a shit at all. The problem is that's how I want to live my life. To where you can, you want to be a guy who uh, tapes his his cock back and wears a dress and says he's a woman, dude, do it before all this LGBTQ trans shit. The LGBTQ community and those who were we call them cross dressers and, and trannies, they're the fucking awesomest, funnest people to be around on the planet. It wasn't, and I don't want to, I'm not trying to pick sides this one. It wasn't until the liberal left comes along and shoves the ideology down the children's throat that all of a sudden it's evil. Yes, it is. If you remove the liberal ideology in the force of any of this shit, then holy shit, it's like, dude, you trans people are fucking awesome. The greatest time in the world, go out of a club with fucking grown men who are dressed in drag. They are awesome energy to be around. Them and fat black women. I say it all the time. I say it all the time. You want to have the greatest time in your life? Go out to a club, get a little bit drunk, and be around some fat black broads. They are the most awesome, energetic. You want to get some smother titty love? Oh, my God. Daddy loves him some chocolate. They are the best human beings on the war on the planet. But for some strange fucking reason, then we got to sit there and just open up our phones, look on whatever uh, social media pops up, and then we hate each other. Because we're told to. Where did this go? I Where did this fucking go? Words. Can't say words, right? We all had George Carlin, seven deadly, word, deadly words. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Can't say those. Now it's like, oh, retard, can't say that. Faggot, can't say that. Nigger's a bad word. All these bad words, they offend people. I, I don't care. I don't care. Where, where did what someone else does start to affect us so bad that it literally dictates how we function as human beings? I have an option. If I don't like your stuff, I just keep scrolling. Sometimes I will feature it. Like yesterday, if you watch the show, I featured a nice young lady who was an influencer. She had about 899,000 followers on her Instagram page. And I could just tell, being a guy, that her husband was not a priority to her compared to her fans. And I pointed it out, and she got so offended, and she blocked me. Well, who's the bigger piece of shit? 
her for blocking me or me for getting so bothered by her content that I had to do content on her content. Dude, I don't know what happened to us. I'm not a turn the other cheek kind of guy. That's always been the case. I don't believe in it. I may sell your cloak and buy a sword kind of guy, and I pray all the time, why did you make me like this? But then again, you did, so maybe I'm supposed to be all pissed, vinegar, hot and fucking bothered, and warlike all the time, and I don't know why. I don't know why. I have yet to hear the Holy Spirit go, calm down. Jesus wants you to just be zen-like. I'm not fucking zen-like. I've clearly calmed down in my older age, but sometimes I get hyped up like crazy. You're not your political candidate. That's not who you are. So this is October 1st. I mean, if an October surprise comes up, it's like, holy shit, if you have uh, Diddy, and this is what I think it's going to be. I think Diddy's going to release these, um, these, these parties, and maybe you'll see Trump, who was really big and active, in the Hollywood and, and uh, political scenes years ago. Maybe Trump's going to be fucking some, I don't know, uh, or maybe he's going to be getting hollowed out by Diddy. Diddy's going to get his big old orange ass from behind and say, yo, yeah, take it, Daddy Trump, take it, Daddy Trump. You're fired. You're fired. If you don't fuck me harder, you're fired. Whatever it is. Would that really destroy you? Well, how... how? Did we become who the media told us to be through the government? Don't know. But if Trump gets elected, reelected, are you going to punish those around you? Nah, 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 nah. I want you and your Trump derangement system. Says Andrew, fuck you. You got to deal with it. So what happens in 2028? Who... Because you conservatives are just as bad as liberal leftists. And if you reverse the roles back when Trump got sworn in in 2016, this is the same shit. You're almost the same as those liberal leftists. It's, it's, it's actually shocking as all hell. I don't know, dude. It's a nonstop force down your throat. This is who you have to fucking uh, vote for. This is who you have to be. This is who you have to be outraged over. This is who you have to condemn. Oh, this I, I don't know. I do not know what the answer is for anything. All I know is that nonstop every single day, I sit there and it's like, uh, should I be outraged over? This? I was like, oh, my God. They're, they're doing this to Trump. And I'm like, why does that matter? And then I go in the comment section of my stuff and somebody says, I used to fucking support you. And I think you're, this is the stupidest thing you've ever said. And I go, Fah! and then I look and the person's got like four followers. And then I'm like, well, why are you follower shaming? See, it, it is a, it's my point is it's a non stop jumping from hot, cold, to hot, cold, to hot, coal, like measure of awareness of how fucked up we are. Because of what? What's tangible? And that's just, dude, that's the biggest fuck up in the head fuck, right? None of this is tangible. Think about that for a second. If social media, if social media were to fucking go to the wayside tomorrow and just shit the fucking bed, what are your skill sets? I, I, have, I have increasingly, thanks to the volume of time that I sit and scroll, it is 100% attributed to my shitty fucking health. I'm sure my cortisol level spikes. I've gained some weight. I can't sprint down the fucking road for a block to go and, uh, I don't know, tackle a, a gazelle for my dinner if the world goes to shit. Apparently, I'm in Africa when this happens because I'm racist, I guess. But it's like, okay, I know that I have skill sets. I know I have firearm skills. Um, I know that I probably could. I don't <laughs> Could I skin a bunny? Oh, my God. I did see how they did it on, on YouTube once. I had to Google that. And um, that was back with the last co-host. And we're like, oh, my God, they fucking skin it like this. I don't know if I could. And how much really meat is on a rabbit? But maybe that's a good thing because my fat fucking ass doesn't need all that food all the time. But, and I have no idea what my point is or where I was going to go with this. But the point being is, is that without social media, it, it, it's like 
But this, so that 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 poor girl who's got eight hundred ninety nine thousand followers. Now we're all like her, because if that legitimately is affecting her marriage and her husband, who's fucking got her pregnant three times, they have three kids. It's like what what is what value does she put on the planet? Look, I change wardrobes, and my husband looks at me like I'm the greatest thing he's ever seen. And then I snap my fingers, and we're in a different pair of wardrobes, and we're in a different location. We're on a boat, and we're wearing this fancy stuff. What? What does that tangibly equate to to bettering and contributing to the value of humanity? I don't fucking know. But then again, I stop and go, dude, you're online. You're ranting and raving about this shit. What is the value that you are providing for humanity other than to get people in an echo chamber going, yeah, that's right. Fuck her. If all you offer to the human species is social media content and revealing other shit, what's your fucking point? I don't know. I don't know. That's my whole point, man. I don't give a fuck if you're Muslim. I've got Muslim friends. I don't give a fuck if you're Christian. Yeah, I got some Christian friends. I don't identify as Christian anymore because I don't like the hypocrisy. And the hypocrisy got a million times worth worse, worse, worse with social media. Used to be the Christians didn't like to talk about. Yeah, I, mean, I follow Jesus. There was an embarrassment. And that fucking coin flipped to the other side. And now it's, I am, I follow Jesus. And you go to hell. Here, it's again. A Walmart shoppers. I just want to take the time to say that I follow Jesus, and if you don't, you're going to hell, but he loves you, and because he loves you, you don't have to go to hell if you just do what he says, and you recognize me as the most important person on the planet, because I've got 70,000 people following me on Instagram, and they love when I go to places that I'm not invited to, and scream at the top of my lungs that Jesus is king. Woo! That's what we do? Three fucking do, dude. So I mean, I don't care if you're Christian, care if you're Muslim. I don't care if you're gay. You guys know my co-host on every other Thursday is one of my best fucking friends on the planet, and you know who she is, and you know who she is, and what she does. That fucking motherfucker is is like one of my best friends, dude. She's trans. I don't care. Democrats, my whole family, my whole family, for the most part, took the fucking vaccine. Whole fucking family. My mother's dead because of it. 100%. She got scared into taking it. It was fucking actually a hilarious story. She gets scared into taking it by her doctor. Her primary physician of fucking like 30 years terrifies the shit out of her. She takes the vaccine and immediately, I mean the fucking day, she takes this shit. She's sitting at the kitchen table and she is just in a more pissy mood than normal because I think that's what her life was all about was being in a fucking pissy mood. Anyways, so she's in a pissy mood and I'm like, uh, yeah, she goes, I took the vaccine. She goes, yeah. I go, yeah, well, that's, that's your choice. Even though she wouldn't listen to shit. Every time I fucking wanted to bring something up, no, the, this, the, the, this doctor says this, that you know, the more information is not necessarily power. It's just the more information and it's analysis paralysis and we're going to do whatever the fuck we think we should do. So I, I don't know if it's good or bad, but she's like, I just want to get this out of my body now. I'm like, well, you kind of fucking can't. And I never judged. I'm a guy who fucking shoves black market testosterone into his ass, right? So I don't fucking care what you do. Just don't tell me what to do. Offer a suggestion. And if I say no, respect that opinion. Just like I respected the opinion of my entire family. She died, though. She had a heart that was enlarged uh, three times too big. And the, the doctors couldn't figure out why. And I'm like, because it was the fucking vaccine, you dumb fuck. And then her doctor, her primary physician, dies two months after she did. You fucking piece of shit. But, you know, I'm working on my anger issues. I don't care if you take the vaccine. I don't care if you vote for Harris. I don't. I don't care if you voted for Biden. Well, he's a pedophile. To be honest, what's your fucking proof? Ashley Biden's diary. Yeah, I've done that same shit. Same fucking shit. I also know sexual trauma. So if Ashley Biden writes in a diary that she's become hypersexual because of shit, 100% she was raped. 100%. 
What, and if you listen to our other podcasts, like And God Create a Woman, you'll hear the, some of the doctors and uh, experts I've had come on talk about the fact that when you are sexually abused, sometimes you go hypersexual and you masturbatory fantasize about that sexual abuse because you fucking come harder on it thinking that and anything else. It's fucked up. But if you ever talked about that publicly, would you be condemned? I, uh, I was raped. And I fantasize about it all the time because it really turns me on. I don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. You don't know how to deal with it because if you ever told anybody in this day and age of very, very, very fucking judgmental people, because that's all we are, you'd be shunned and doxxed and put on blast. And we wonder why we fucking have a hard time dealing with people whose political ideologies oppose ours. Holy shit, dude. We can't even scratch the surface of basic level acceptance you like pineapple on your pizza what is wrong with you and we're going to ask people to sit there and I'm, I'm done being friends with you because you like pineapple on your pizza but we're going to talk about uh your trump supporter so i'm just going to stop talking to you and throw away over 30 years of friendship this is fucking shitty. I don't know where we go from this. I don't. Because you can't recover from what has happened. The liberal left has been very, very horrible. They have. But then what's the right or the conservatives or, or people like me who are libertarian who sit and see this and go, what's I, if, you, if you come up to me and you scream, Trump is a piece of shit, He's a liar. He's a rapist. He's this. He's that. I'm going to go, oh, that's cool, dude. Uh, you know, what else did you do today? I, I don't care. If, it, if, if one man who doesn't even know you exist bothers you this much, it's like, what do you stand for? What do you care about? I care about producing great uh, at wrestler athletes. I care about... Uh, my martial art. I care about fucking sales, dude. I care about helping the industry of network marketing grow. I care about expressing my faith in Jesus Christ without sh shoving it down your fucking throat like I'm a you know religious rapist. I, I care about uh, you know, law enforcement and changing the culture of cops. But all of that, all of those are ideologies. They're not a person. Trump, Harris, and yes, we do have legitimate problems, and I don't know how to solve them. Like when you have uh, your governors signing laws that uh, it's it's a criminal offense. I believe as it was what it was. California Newsom signed a law that's uh, I think uh, criminalizing those who demand voter ID. It's like, <laughs> what do you do? You got to vote them out in the next election. No, you no, you don't. You need to storm the fucking castle, drag them out by their hairpiece, and say uh, you will serve the American public. But you can't do that because law enforcement will fucking make you look like an aerated front lawn, and you'll have more bullet holes in you than a fucking I don't I don't know glory hole truck stop. I don't know. So if you cannot do anything about it on a macro level and start with the fucking micro start with the micro don't don't let politics consume you and ruin the value of who you are what you do what you can contribute to everybody else don't fucking let the mainstream media or 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 the government through the mainstream media tell you who the fuck you are and what value you bring don't do it Fight with everything you have to maintain your individualism. Bring value to other human beings' lives. And for the love of fuck's sake, Trump is not more important than you. Harris is not more important than you. I don't give a shit if you have four fucking followers and you're a Starbucks barista or sweep the floors at a fucking Walmart or a car dealer or you're a fucking top tier uh, celebrity. I don't give a shit, man. You have more fucking value than uh, anybody else out there uh, who is a political opponent or a uh, 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 candidate you support. Just don't fucking do it. Short today. 
special today because I was not in the uh, office to do a video, but this podcast is kind of my stream of consciousness thoughts, if you will. Don't forget all things Spreely, Spreely Spreely.com. You can check out all the other shows on the network. There's some great shows like the Burn Pit Podcast to the Burn Pit Podcast. Boys will be joining me tomorrow on Wednesday. You have Report and Alpine, Shannon Joy Show, Pete Santilli, Evening Rants, and so much fucking more. Social media is on there. Go on there and enjoy it. Guys, listen. Have a great motherfucking day. Go do something for somebody out there today. Help them. Help them see their value. Show them your value by helping them. And if you can't help them, just don't hurt them. Have a great fucking day, and I'll see you tomorrow. That's a very peaceful sound.